Hello guys, this is Solarix and as you can see behind me, TU54 is out and I can't be any more excited, so let's just um, go down and show you a few features. So um, basically, this is the Woodland Mansion, you can like find it near the um, Dark Oak Wood, I think it's called Dark Oak Wood anyway, just uh, get a piece and see what it's called. Yeah, Dark Oak Wood, I thought it was. So the front door is mainly found here. I'm not going to go into detail about this, I'm probably going to do it in a future video, so let's just show you um, a few of the other features. So these are like the different coloured beds, and basically, yeah, they look really good. I think you can just add dye to um, a normal bed, but I'll just show you this first. This is the Observer, so basically... They brought this out on PC quite a while ago, and what it does, if um, say a block or something moves in front of it, it blasts out like a, um, I'll show you, like a, a short, like current of redstone. So say you stood here and you want to get in, you've got like push back, and not that many people can get in at a time. So it's very good if you like run into a secret base, and you can just get your stuff and then start fighting. You can do this on both sides as well, but I only had enough room to do it on like one. So let's go to the um, other feature what I want to show you. This is the parrots. So to tame them, what you need is seeds. I like tried to tame them with this, this seed, but I kind of find what beetroot does it better for some reason, but it's not working out. There we go. I think it works with every seed. Anytime now. Anytime. No. Okay. I've literally near enough used a full stack on these guys. All right. Let me try the other seeds. What seed is it? Um, cocoa seeds, that's what I'm going to try. No, that doesn't work. So I'm not too sure how you put them on your shoulder at the moment, but as you can see, they can kind of follow me if I've tamed them. Like this one will follow me. I think that one. Maybe not. It just wants to do some little thing. So this one will follow me, guys. Uh, and let's go and show you what not to do with parrots. If there's a parrot here, don't try and tame it with cookies. Please don't. It'll end up killing them. But it's um like a reference to one of the old um, load up screens on Minecraft. I think it said like don't feed parrots beetroot beetroots or something like that. And they've kind of done the same thing with cookies because they're poisonous. And while we're staying on like potions and sort sort of thing, if you uh, drink a potion now, if you look in the top right screen, it shows you the potion what you're drinking. And we get a beacon. Oh, come on, I'm really not quick at this, guys. I might want to make the videos as short as I can because when I'm looking for videos how to do stuff on Minecraft, they're normally quite long and just have provided so much stuff. I think that's right. If not, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, that looks pretty wrong, to be honest. I just want the beacon for us, so I can show you what happens as well. And this is really not a quick video. Alright, so let's click haste, and as you can maybe not see. Come on, oh, I need an, um, a thing you don't have. Need one of these. You don't have to have a diamond, by the way. Click haste. And it, there we go. As you can see, guys, in the top right, it shows haste. And I'm not too sure why it's showing um like the haste symbol going like faded, but I don't know. Let's just get rid of that for the moment, guys. And the next one, what we're going to show you is a zombie horse and zombie skeleton. Why did I say zombie skeleton? The zombie horse and the skeleton horse, right? So as you can see, guys, these can like be any size. I think there's like a baby size and then like a. Oh my god, just give me the baby size. No, or not. So it can be two sizes. It can be this size or this size. I'm not too sure why at the moment, but I guess I'll just have to um, find out a bit more about this update because it's quite new. And you get uh, bones from these, and I'm not too sure if you can get arrows. It's basically like killing a skeleton or a zombie. And last but not least, let's do the llama. We need a few saddles for this. So as you can see, let's just spawn a llama. And then you want to jump on it and try and tame it like you do with a horse. Oh, where is it? There it is. Alright, this may take quite a while. Come on. Anytime now. 
I'm back on it. There we go. Alright, and now what you want to do is just go and pop your, um, oh you can't even pop a saddle, I just remembered. You need carpet, and what this does is basically allows you to sit on it, but you could sit on it anyway. You can't control where it goes unless you have a lead, so let me try and get a lead, whereabouts are there? Oh man, there it is. And what it does, it follows you quite quickly to be honest, like you can run, and it'll end up running like next to you, it'll go on a mad one though. Um, let's get chests. So there was a glitch on my channel recently, um, but you had to use donkeys, and donkeys were really hard to get at that time. So now what you can do, you can do it with the llamas, and I think you can put multiple on a lead and pull them into the glitch. I'll do another video on it recently. Not recently, I'll do another video on it soon. So that is basically it for the llama. Um, let me try and just change. You can as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's the llama. Is there anything else to show you? Oh yeah, the totem of undeath, I think it's called. Get rid of them. Totem of undying. So let's go into survival. That little mouse, cause I'm an albatross.